Hey guys, it's Shani and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a massive makeup haul. I haven't done a makeup haul in honestly the longest time because I don't know if you guys want to see makeup hauls. If you do, make sure you give this video a thumbs up so I know to do more. But I just thought since I've got all of this new makeup, I thought let's just dive in. Let's just get started. I have a lot of products from high end to really, really affordable. So we have a big range of different products prices in here. The first thing that I have is the Hourglass Vanish Foundation. They have a lot of different colors in their range which I'm really happy about as you can see here. The shade that I'm in is Warm Beige and it is absolutely perfect to my fake tan. I love it so much. So as you can see this is a stick formula. I've used it probably about six times and I have taken a huge dint out of this foundation. You don't really get that much. It is pretty expensive and I have gone through it really quickly, but it is a really, really beautiful, luxurious foundation. I don't really like it for flash photography because I do feel like it is a little bit on the dewy side when I have like flash photography. I do look a little bit oily around these areas right here. I don't know, usually I love dewy foundation, but for some reason this just doesn't look that amazing in photos, but like just for daytime wear, um, it's just beautiful. It leaves a really nice like full coverage just like photoshopped finish to the face It doesn't feel heavy and It doesn't have a scent to it, which I love next we have some glitter eyeshadows or pigments These ones are from glitter injections. I'm sure you guys have heard a lot about these products because apparently after three or so months they mold so quickly I just want to make a disclaimer. I'm not recommending these products to you because Apparently they do mold, a lot of people have put photos online and stuff, but I have used these before and... Okay, just look at this, like I'm literally just going to rub it over. Like, whoa. I'm going to swatch them all so you guys can see. Like I've honestly never seen eyeshadows this pigmented or glittery and they stick on my eyes so well, they don't budge throughout the whole night. So I guess if you get these, you've got to use them up before the first three months. I don't know. I mean, this is so beautiful, but it just is such a bummer that that's the case. Ugh. Next, I got my hands on the new Makeup Geek Reformulated Blushes. I've never used a product from Makeup Geek that I don't love with my whole heart, so I'm super excited to use these. I've used one shade, and it was, it was like overly pigmented, like holy crap. So you really want to use a light hand when you're using these products. They just feel like butter, like so smooth on the face. And a lot of these ones are kind of like pinky purple coral tones. I really need to get myself a Z palette so I can put all of these in because right now I just have the little compact. So the ones I just shared with you are in pants and then these ones are in compacts. This one is so pretty. This one is in the shade Romance. It looks like this. It has a really nice golden sheen to it. It's kind of like a coral color. I actually haven't even looked at the other shades. Let's see what they look like. Holy crap, that is very purple. This one is in Soulmate. And then the last one that I have here, ooh, that looks like it would go with so many different skin tones. This one is Infatuation, so I do have this one, but I'm guessing this one is the reformulated version. So I love these because they're super small and it's just great for traveling and it's just sleek and very classy looking. Makeup Geek will never disappoint me. Never. Next we have the new Tarte Amazonian Clay Highlighter in the shade Exposed Highlight. I just went on Sephora the other day to buy a new beauty blender right here because my dog ate my other one. And for some reason this beauty blender is like a darker pink than the normal ones, but it works the same so it's fine. So yeah, I saw this in the new like in the suggested, so I thought I may as well pick it up. This is what it looks like. It's kind of like a very basic looking pearl champagne highlight. It feels beautiful. Honestly, it feels so stunning when you swatch it. It's very, very buttery and very pigmented. It's not chunky or glittery or anything like that. I feel like it'll just give a nice sheen to the face. I don't think it'll be anything over the top dramatic, but it will just be like a nice glow, if you know what I mean? So when I apply this, I'm probably gonna put like 100 layers on to get that pop. <laughs> Next, I picked up the Anastasia Glow Sweets Kit. I've wanted this for ages, ever since it came out, and I got my hands on it on the Anastasia website, because it turns out they do ship to Australia, which is amazing. I just don't think you can... I'm getting too excited. I just don't think you can use PayPal. You have to use, like, a MasterCard or something like that. So, this is what it looks like. It's so beautiful. I dropped this on the ground, and the butterscotch shade shattered. So if this goes upside down, it's going to fall out. But it's still kind of intact. The shades in here, I think, are really, really unique. We have, like, a, a nice iridescent... Whoa, it's like a goldy pearl color in the different lights. It changes color. 
So we have like a whitey pearl color, then we have a nice purpley pink color, which is iridescent as well. I think they're all iridescent. But then we have like a copper shade and just a pure gold, which I think are stunning. When you swatch these highlighters, you will be like literally blown away onto another planet because that's how good they are. Next, we have the Moonchild Glow Kit. This one is really, really, really unique. I've never seen a brand come out with something like this before. So when I opened it for the first time, I was like, well, this is kind of basic. Like, I don't really like these colors, but when you swatch them, they all change color. In different lights, when you move your head, they all change color. I have two on my face right now. I don't know if you can see in this lighting, but when I move my head this way, it goes purple, and then it goes like a yellowy gold color, a champagne. It's just incredible. The two colors that I have on now is Blue Ice and Lucky Clover. So Blue Ice actually isn't blue. It is very, very like lavendery purple. And then I have Lucky Clover down here, which is more of like an everyday highlighter that doesn't have too much purple or anything in it. But these ones, look how purple they are. I don't know where I'm going to wear those colors, but like they're like really purple. <sighs> I love this so much. It's just nice when you come across a makeup product that is really good because you get your money's worth and I just love it. The next thing that I have here is the original RCMA No Color Powder. So I heard Kathleen Light talking about this saying it's the best makeup setting powder ever and I used it today. I don't know, like it's really cheap so it definitely is really, really good for its price. But I'm obsessed with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and that is very luxurious and just, it is very expensive but I feel like it does such an amazing job. I feel like this one did leave a very, like a big white cast under my eyes, which I actually do like because I like a highlighted look under here. But it does say no color powder, which is kind of confusing. But um, I put it on my nose and all under here and it kind of took my foundation off a little bit. I'm gonna keep testing it out. Maybe it was the foundation that I used or the primer. Maybe it just didn't work with this powder. But yeah, it did, I don't know, it grabbed onto my foundation a little bit funny. But um, so far, it's pretty good, especially for its price. And you get a lot of product. The only thing, other thing that I'm like not too fond about is like you can't tip it into a lid. I have to put it on the back of my hand and when I'm done I'm just like because <sighs> can't be bothered taking the lid off and put it back in. Next thing that I have here is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set. So here in Australia we don't have any set up <laughs> we don't have any setting sprays um, from the drugstore really especially from L'Oreal or anything like that. So I got this off Beauty Joint and I just got it in the mail today. I'm super excited to try it out. I haven't seen anyone use this ever so I'm excited to see how it goes because I always use the Urban Decay Naked no, Urban Decay Cooling and Hydrating Spray and that's really good. Next thing that I have is the Wet n Wild to Reflect Shimmering Palette in the shade I'll have a Cosmo. So I'm guessing this is a highlight but it does have pink in it as well so maybe you could use it as like a shimmery blush at the same time. It is humongous it was very cheap so you're getting a lot for your money Let's see if it's pigmented, because that's always what I like in any product. <laughs> you guys know that? That's how I describe any product I love. So pigmented, so buttery. I know I need to come up with some new words, but <clears throat> come on. Mm, not bad, actually. It does feel a little bit dry. Obviously, it's not like a high-end product, but it does look really pretty. It is very pink, so maybe this will work better as a blush than a highlight. It is very shimmery, though, so it's like, ah. I don't know. We'll just try it out and see how it goes. But so far, I'm impressed. I'm excited. I also got this product off Beauty Joint as well. I've never heard of it in my life. It is called City Color Highlight Trio Illuminator. So this is what it looks like. That actually looks really, really pretty. Let's give it a swatch. Oh, yes. Oh, that is beautiful. Yes, girl. And this was pretty affordable as well. The next thing that I have that I've had for the longest time but I haven't spoke about, so this is the Kai Majesty Metal Matte Liquid Lipstick. So I've heard a lot of bad stuff about this product because apparently it comes half empty. I'm going to test it out because I haven't even really looked at it. I can definitely see a big chunk of the liquid lipstick like not in there. I wouldn't say it's like 100% full. There's like this much of the product not in there but um who's really going to use a whole thing of liquid lipstick anyway honestly doesn't bother me in the slightest i'm excited to see how it swatches though because people are just like to complain i think it's all right i mean it's nothing like life changing but it definitely is a very unique color i would just have to say you would need to layer it up to get a really intense look but 
not bad. Next thing that we have here is the Makeup Studio Translucent Powder in Extra Fine. I really, really like this for baking underneath the eyes. I like it nearly just as much as the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, and I've only used it once. But the first time I used it, I was like, this stuff is in incredible and I'm really happy that I'm starting to find more translucent powders because I feel like you guys are getting sick of me using the same one over and over so you will see me use this a lot in videos because it is fabulous. Now we have some Natasha Denona products which I'm really excited about because I haven't seen too many people use her products on YouTube so I thought well let's bring her into the YouTube world or maybe I'm just living under a rock. So this is what the palette looks like. It is so stunning. It is a very shiny palette and it says Natasha Denona 0000. Anyways, when you open it up, this is what it looks like. As you can see, I have definitely had a play with this product. This green though, this is what I have on my lid right now. Like, whoa, it is very pigmented, very creamy and buttery. I know I say that all the time, but that is the perfect way to describe the glitter shadows in this palette. The other day when I was using this green shade, I didn't put any glitter glue under it and it did have a lot of fallout on my face. But today I used the um, Too Faced Shadow Insurance glitter glue on my lid before I applied this green. There was hardly any fallout and it was very, very glittery and intense as you can see on my eyes. So I would recommend using a glitter glue with the really chunky glittery shades. Um, like the green and the blue right here and this color. This color is stunning. It's kind of like a maroon with like green reflexes in it. I wore it clubbing. I need to show you guys closer. I wore it when I went clubbing the other night and I'm just obsessed with it. So in some lights it's maroon, some lights it's green. Oh, it's just so unique. I've never seen anything like that at all. So as far as the other shades go, I am very impressed with them so far. I have these two um, on my eyes right now and they blend out just as well as Makeup Geek. So I'm excited to try the other shades and hopefully get some more palettes if she even has any. Not too sure what she has up her sleeve, but I also have a blush and a highlighter from her as well. So this is what the highlighter looks like. This is what the highlighter looks like. First of all, the packaging. Uh, oh my God. She is very talented with her packaging. It just looks very just gorgeous and girly and luxurious. I love it. So it's gold packaging which I love. Let me give it a swatch. Oh wow that feels very very smooth. It's very finely milled. It's not chunky at all. Very 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 smooth so I do feel like this will be a very pretty highlight. I can't wait to try it. Next thing that I have is the Wet n Wild bronzer. This has SPF 15 which I think is pretty cool. So I have the shade Ticket to Brazil. I just wanted more drugstore products that I could use in more drugstore tutorials for people that um, are on like a smaller budget and hopefully it's good. I have no idea. This is in the most random order ever But the next thing that I have here is the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I have the shade 07 Sand. This looks like a really nice neutral shade foundation perfect for when I have a nice dark fresh fake tan on. So if you guys want to see a first impression on this, let me know. Otherwise, I'll just chuck it in a video and I'll see how it goes. Wait, where's the concealer? Or do you put the foundation under your eyes as a concealer? Next thing that I have is the Natasha Denona Face Glow Foundation. This has SPF 15 in it. I'm in the shade 30. It is just like a little pump. I had a... Whoa! It smells exactly like the MAC Studio Fluid Fix Foundation, whatever it is. It smells really strong of sunscreen. I'm not a fan of the smell. Obviously, when you put it on your face, I'm assuming you can't smell it anymore. The next thing that I have is the Fluid Line Brow Gel Cream in the shade True Brunette by MAC. I really like how this applies on my brows. It is very moussey. It's a lot more wet of a formula than the Anastasia Dip Brow. Maybe just because my Anastasia one has dried up, but this one I feel is a very is a lot easier to work with on the brows and the color is super light but when I put it on my brows it matches very very well so very happy with that shade. I have a very large collection of MAC lipstick especially their nude ones. I really just like the formula on my lips for clubbing. I always refer back to clubbing it seems like it's all I do but trust me I hardly go clubbing. Well, that's because I've been sick, but... <laughs> Anyways, this one is in the shade Blankety. It is a amplified lipstick, so it is a little bit glossy, a little bit shiny. The color is stunning. It is a nude pink. It's something that matches every single makeup look. I would say it is a bit more pink than nude, though. Ew, it tastes kind of gross. All the MAC lipsticks taste a bit gross. <laughs> and then the other MAC product is the lip gloss. This is so so glossy. It is the glossiest lip gloss I've ever tried. It's not sticky, but it just looks like you've literally got oil on your lips. It's very, very good. You get a lot of product as well. 
15 mil. Wow. I'm never gonna use this in my whole entire lifetime, but I really, 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 really like this. Next, I have the L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation in the shade 24 Golden... 24 Golden Beige. This color is so, so good. It's nice and yellow and neutral. It matches perfectly to me. I used it today, so that's what I have on right now, and I absolutely loved it. Love, love, love this foundation so incredibly much. I was really shocked with the formula of it. It wasn't too thick, it wasn't too runny. Beautiful, beautiful medium to full coverage. You can definitely build it up. And my laugh lines aren't as bad as normal foundation. Usually I get really bad laugh lines here, but so far I'm obsessed with this foundation. I've had it on for about four hours and oh, still looks good as new, but I will keep you guys updated on what I think of this. I'm so happy. Next we have full lip glosses. These ones are from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I believe this was like a little holiday pack that I picked up. I thought that was five glosses. Maybe I've already lost the other gloss, but these colors are so pretty, especially this one here in the shade Caramel. It's a really nice dark pinky nude. It is very, very opaque. You don't even need anything under your lips. You can just put this straight on. It just looks like a straight up lipstick with gloss over the top. It's really good. Then we have a pearly kind of, ooh, what is this? I haven't even swatched this yet. This one kind of looks like a metal, so it's a pink gloss with a lot of gold reflexes in it. It's very stunning. I haven't seen anything like this either. It's always nice to see something a little bit unique. The next color is Jelly Grape. This is crazy. I'm excited to use this one. <laughs> and then last but not least, we have like a really Oh, I don't know if I'd wear this. This is very pink. This is like very, very light pink. It is in the shade Blushing. But overall, I'm very impressed with these lip glosses. I just wanted to get like a little pack with little size ones just because I hadn't tried the lip glosses before. Wasn't sure what they were like, but now I'm going to go buy some more. Some more brownie nudes because that's my style. Next, we have some false lashes. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about Lily Lashes before. They are amazing. This is one of my favorite brands along with Huda Beauty Lashes. All of these lashes, including Huda Beauty, are pretty pricey, around like $40, but they do last a lot of wears. I wear mine sometimes up to like 10 times and they still are in perfect condition. They are very fluttery, flirty, wispy looking lashes, very full, exactly what I want. They have so many different styles and I'm just very, very impressed of the quality and how long these lashes do last for. Oh, I have so many different styles as well. Look how long and wispy these ones are. They're everything. I have the Lily lashes on right now. As you can see, they're very big. I have hooded eyes as well, so I like to go extra long to cover that saggy skin. This is a product that I also just got today, so I haven't even had time to play around with it. This is the Milani Illuminating Face Powder in 01. So I do have one of these already, but I use it as a blush. Let's give it a swatch and see what kind of color comes up. It's kind of like a neutral brown color. You can't even really see it. I don't know what you'd use that for. I guess we'll have to have a play around with it in a makeup tutorial. The next thing that I have is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Face Powder. Let's give this one a swatch. It doesn't look very shimmery though. I would say this one looks more like a blush. It's definitely a dark pink, so I wouldn't say that's an illuminating powder. The next thing that I have is the LA Splash Liquid Lipsticks. They are called the Velvet Matte. So this is what the packaging looks like. I think this is super cute. Let's give them a swatch because I haven't swatched these yet. Let's see. Oh, that was such a bad swatch. I'm so sorry, guys. I mean, isn't the best liquid lipstick I've ever had, but it is very, very cheap. Um, because this is a dark shade, it needs to be quite pigmented. Otherwise, it'll be a bit patchy. And to me, that does look a little bit patchy. But maybe when it dries, you can put another layer on. Maybe it'll be fine. We'll have to wait and see. So I also have another purple shade. Don't know why I went all these purples, but let's see what this looks like. Oh, wow. I mean, it does look kind of cute. Wouldn't see myself wearing it every day, but for makeup tutorials, maybe. The next thing that I have is the Wet n Wild Cover All Liquid Concealer Wand. Again, just wanted something more affordable for tutorials, so let's see how this goes. And then last but not least, we have the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer in the shade Ivory. Actually, I lied. We have, well, a lot more products, but they're from the one brand. It's from the brand Nabi. These are the matte lipsticks. Literally, these were like $2, so I'm like, I'm just going to get a bunch of them and hope that they're good. I'm going to swatch one and see what the color payoff is like. This is what they look like. Let's give them a swatch. Oh my god. 
I mean, when you rub it on there a few times, it actually is really pigmented. I'm gonna do one more. This one is a really, really dark shade. Let's see. Yeah, you definitely, definitely need to do like 100 swats for it to be really pigmented, but when it is on, it's really on. It's gorgeous. This is a gorgeous shade, both of these. I'll keep you guys updated on what I think of those, but I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup haul. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. I love you so much and I will see you very soon.